What a sweet trail riding machine we got in here today. Check out this 2020 CF Motos Z Force 500 trail. This has got the same 500 engine as what's in the uh, C Force 500. I don't have it, I have it somewhere else right now. But uh, now this has got, uh, I wanted to show you, uh, I put the 28 inch XM 310s by System 3. Uh, on there to see what it would look like and uh, they fit just right um, I turned it back and forth and uh, let's see you got that fender flare to worry about but uh that's pretty pretty good clearance and you can turn it back and forth uh, plenty of room in the back no no worries there but uh what a sweet looking machine uh, I'm going to take these tires back off and we're going to dive into uh, to see kind of the build quality of this Z Force 500. We're going to see what the A arms look like, the uh, axles, the 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 tie rods, just some some standard features that we want to check out and kind of see the quality and what CF Moto is putting in their side by sides. Um, this is the same interior and everything and same cockpit. Uh, and body as what's on all their Z forces the Z force 500 trail 800 trail and 800 EX as well as last year's 2019 Z force 1000 EX It's all the same uh, same amount of space inside uh, So you can look at some of my other reviews on the 800 EX and uh, see a little bit more about that but you can get this one right here power steering roof mirrors premium paint winch uh nice uh piggyback shops it comes with uh uh these 26 inch tires here with some awesome looking 14 inch wheels uh that's just standard uh standard features that come uh with this z force for on the msrp is only nine thousand ninety nine dollars nine thousand Let's just round that up a dollar, $9,100. Uh, that's US. The closest competition at the closest price would be the 2020 Honda Pioneer 500. And now that comes with steel wheels, some little 25 inch tires, maybe, maybe 24, I'm not sure. Um, but uh, no power steering. It comes with their, uh, I think it's like the same motor that's in the Honda Foreman. 500 so uh i don't even know if it has 30 horsepower uh but i have uh ridden one of those those are good good little side by sides but as far as looks and quality and everything you get you get a lot more with this z force uh the polaris offers a razor 570 um and it it, it does have more horsepower than the 500 cf moto but in order to get power steering and some nice tires and wheels, no roof, no mirrors, no winch, uh, you have to get the 570 premium for $12,600. Uh, but I just want to kind of give you a quick comparison. Can-Am makes the Maverick Trail DPS model, but it's an 800 engine. So that would we would have to be comparing the, uh, the 800 uh, Trail and uh, we'll get that one later. But uh, this one, uh, I mean, the Can-Am Maverick Trail 800 DPS is uh, $13,100. So again, remember, keep in, in mind the price of what CF Moto is offering and the quality that you get. And let's take a look at the quality. Let's take these tires off. Let's kind of check everything out, see what the build quality looks like. All right, so let's take a little closer look at the Z Force 500 Trail. Uh, this is going to be the same suspension setup that is also on the 800 trail. Uh, you get some piggyback shocks from CF Moto. Uh, they, they're adjustable uh, um, by a lot of adjustment. You can adjust your ride height. Um, uh, you don't have a whole lot to play with there on your ride height on the trail models, uh, but you can adjust your rebound and your uh, fast and low uh, speed compression um, the uh, upper and lower a arms are both 
uh, you can grease those. They have grease fittings there. So, uh, but that's, you know, that's pretty standard. We expect that to be on the A-arms. Uh, so that's nice. Um, the uh, A-arm quality, the, the size or, or the look of the build looks to be, you know, standard uh, uh, according to, you know, other side-by-sides that we've looked at and had our hands on. Um, the axles look you know, decently beefy. Um, I just, it just looks like pretty good quality. Everything is, uh, the fit and finish looks very nice. Uh, you got your winch that's pre-installed. Uh, there's your, uh, front diff, uh, actuator for four wheel drive and lock. Um, let's see, uh, everything else, the cab and all is sealed up good there. Um, so I see the power steering module down there. Uh, let's see, let's go to the back and check it out. Let's see. So here at the back you have, uh, you can adjust a little bit on your uh, suspension here. And um, you have grease fittings upper and lower down there as well as the inside there to help uh, extend the life of your bushings. There's your fitting on the rear and the front. Um, let's see, also you have a rear sway bar and uh, it is also uh, has the ability to be greased with, the, with a grease fitting. Uh, your belt box and all is actually on the driver's side. You can see it kind of back in there. Uh, the exhaust, uh, it has a good tone to it. I, I like it. It's, it's not too loud. It's, it's pretty quiet, uh, but has a good tone to it. It's not loud in the cab. Um, the air box, uh, if you're familiar with, uh, the C, the Z forces rather, uh, the air box is behind this cover. Uh, you have to take this cover off and then the actual air box is located behind this protective cover. Uh, there's your oil filter housing. Uh, let me see if I can see. Yeah, there's your oil filter for whenever you're going to change your oil and oil filter for your engine. You can see the 500cc engine right there. Uh, everything is pretty accessible. I know that you can, uh, in the bed, you can take this uh, center area out with just one, one bolt there and pop up the grommets to be able to access kind of your top end there. Uh, let's take a look around here. Uh, there's your, there's your uh, belt box. Um, let's see, this is my first time to have my hands on this machine. So I'm kind of looking at this stuff for the first time myself. But uh, I mean, I'm impressed with it for, for the price point and the quality, the styling um, man, I don't see how you can go wrong. Remember that, uh, it also has a, uh, four wheel drive diff lock. You just, uh, actuate your four wheel drive, slide that over, press that out. That's just like on our ATVs. Um, so you have a nice gauge cluster as well. I like that. Uh, it is in the center, but, uh, it's really, it's, it's real big and, uh, it's not like you're having to kind of look look over at it because you can really see it out of your peripheral be, uh, because it's so big. Um, let's see, power steering, of course. You got a, a actual emergency brake there in the center console. Really comfortable seats. My, my wife sat in this the other day and she was really impressed by how comfortable it was. You have an adjustable uh, hand uh, passenger hand bar there. You have a storage here, as well as a, a, a glove box over there. Two cup holders. Um, you can fit uh, pretty big water bottles in there, or whatever you're going to beverage you're going to have with you. Um, this is actually where your air intake is located, right here behind that uh, protective screen. Uh, your seats are pretty easy to take out. Uh, it reminds me of my uh can-am maverick uh one of my original one of the uh og mavs uh real easy to take out and get out of your way to do some cleaning and 
access and things but uh overall i mean uh, i know that this is just kind of a simple video just kind of wanted to show you if you're in the market uh trying to make up your mind on man i, I need a 50 inch wide side by side but what do i go with do i go with uh cf moto do i go with honda or the polaris razor 570 um you know uh the, also you can step up to the can-am uh maverick trail 800 and remember also you have an 800 model uh for uh cf moto the trail or the 60 inch wide but uh maybe this video will just kind of give you a more of a uh uh i don't know give you let you see some things that uh oh yeah i don't know if i said that but you also get a receiver hitch um and a pretty nice size bed as well you could fit a pretty big cooler or camping gear or whatever uh to spend a whole day out on the trails but uh, i'm going to put the stock tires back on it you can fit some 28s i wouldn't try to fit anything bigger than the 28 uh it comes with some really nice trail riding tires and all around good tire um so if you know i like the way they look but if you want i think you can get away with putting some 28 inch skinny tires on the front like some uh i don't know if moto havoc makes 28 inch tires or not but something like that or the xm 310s but anyways look i hope this video want to try to keep it short but you know me i uh, run my mouth too much but uh i hope this video may help you in a decision uh if you're trying to buy you a, a 50 inch wide uh side by side uh we'll try to get some riding footage in one uh but remember you can go to main street cycle and uh the, i think they'll even let you test drive one you can definitely sit in some different models and um and, and get a real good feel for it so main street cycle in tishomingo mississippi they are one of the top dealers in America. I know they're they're actually number two in the United States in sales, if not number one this year in 2020. Uh, I really enjoy uh, being around those guys and hanging out and uh, getting to talk to them. And uh, they're really good to work with. And uh, so go check them out. Main Street Cycle in Tishomingo, Mississippi.